welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain uh, one of the problem in dominance property so you consider this uh, kind of problem player a having uh, three strategies and player b having three strategies which means uh, if any kind of game having a uh, uh, m by n game for example if you consider and game consists of some number of strategies for player A and some number of strategies for player A, player B. Then by using dominance principle, we can reduce into 2 by 2 rectangular game and then we can solve the uh, game problem by using uh, as usual procedure of 2 by 2 rectangular game without shadow point. Clear? Before that, uh, whichever the game it is given to you, you have to first of all uh, check whether the, the shadow point exists for that particular game or not that we do first calculate row minima it is first row minimum element is one second row two third row two among which you calculate again maximum value for example you consider this and uh, because you have two part no, two same values so and i'm considering one value uh, let it, it is nothing but uh, maximum value it is denoted by me underscore right and similarly calculate column maxima it is six for first column and seven for second column and third third one also uh, third column also seven among which you calculate uh, minimum value this is six and this is mini max value denoted by mu upper score so therefore now we can uh, we can uh, uh, can say that uh, there is no shadow point because maximum value is not equal to is not is not equal to minimax value the maximum value minimax value not coincide not equal that therefore uh, shadow point does not exist for the given problem now you have to proceed you have to apply any method either graphical method or dominance principle or any any kind of method so now i am applying the dominance principle a dominance property what is meant by dominance property and how to do with the dominance property right so it is very simple if all the elements in one particular strategy of player a are greater than or equal to all the elements in another particular uh, strategy then uh, uh, obviously uh, player a never chooses minimum gain uh, uh, player a for player a maximum greatest greater values are to be kept and uh, uh, lesser values having less than or equal to the values which are to be deleted similarly for player b uh, for player b the lesser values are to be kept and uh, greater values are to be uh, deleted so are you please remember that simple concept now you start it now you have to compare any kind of two strategies i'm comparing b1 and b2 for example 7 greater than 1, 2 less than 6. So, the elements, uh, these two strategies cannot be compared. B1 and B3, that is columns, 2 greater than 1, 7 greater than uh, 6 and 6 greater than 5. That is, uh, all the elements in B1, I am writing for player B, all the elements in B1 which are less than or equal to all the elements in B3. That is, 1 less than 2, 6 less than 7, 5 less than 6. Therefore, all the elements in B1 less than or equal to all the elements in B3, that is, uh, the strategy B1 dominates, that a strategy B1 dominates the strategy B3. Hence, uh, the B3 can be deleted because B3 can be deleted. Delete B3, simply, I am writing delete B3. Since uh, player B never chooses maximum loss, which are maximum values. So, you please remember in the sense that for player B, which are the, whichever the elements are greater, you have to delete that particular uh, strategy. You can delete that particular strategy by comparing with other strategy. Now, we have compared B1 and B3. The elements in B3 are more. Therefore, we can uh, say that B1, that is the uh, uh, elements of B1 are less, therefore less than or equal to also, you can consider. 
therefore b1 dominates b3 and uh, we can delete b3 now now you come uh, coming to the uh, next what you have to write is by deleting b3 you have to uh, write the certain remaining strategies which are called reduced payoff matrix now uh, the strategies remains for b1 b player b or b1 and b2 player a strategies are as usual a1 a2 a3 now the comparison now uh, you please note down remaining uh, uh, values 165 for b1 722 for b2 now it is a it is time to compare any uh, two other strategies two strategies of uh, uh, one one particular player again uh, you compare uh, the strategies of b1 and b2 7 greater than 1 2 less than 6 so therefore player for player b we cannot compare we cannot use the dominance property now you see the strategies uh, of player A and compare. 6 greater than 1. If you compare A1 and A2, 6 greater than 1, 2 less than 7. So cannot be compared. A2 and A3, 6 greater than 5, 2 greater than 2 equal to 2. So therefore, we can compare A2 and A3. And I am writing since uh, all the elements in A2 are greater than or equal to all the elements in A3, the strategy A3. That is, uh, from this we can specify uh, A2 dominates, always dominates, uh, dominates A3. Therefore, uh, we can delete A3, delete, simply write delete A3. Why? Why? Because the player A never select, never select a strategy which having the minimum gain. Always select maximum gain. Therefore, a2 dominates A3. A2 dominates, always dominates A3. Therefore, delete A3. So, what are the, the reduced uh, uh, payoff matrix are uh, remaining? What are the remaining strategies for player A? A1 and A2 only. Therefore, now by writing the remaining strategies, uh, now I am writing the reduced payoff matrix for player A, which is now. Uh, a1, A2, 1, 7 and uh, A2 is 6, 2. A1 is 1, 7, A2 is 6, 2. Right, clear? So, this is, now the game is reduced, M by N game, that is here 3 by 3 game, reduced into 2 by 2 uh, rectangular game. Now, by using as usual principles of formulas of 2 by 2 rectangular games without shadow point, we can uh, solve the remaining problem. Up to here, we can reduce. Now you see, now you can check it, whether comparison is, uh, still it is going on, whether we can use the dominance principle or not, 6 greater than 1, uh, 2 less than 7, no, no comparison, 1 less than 7, 6 greater than 2, so no comparison. So therefore, we have to uh, apply the formula for 2 by 2 rectangular games without shadow point. I am writing A11, 12, 2, 2, 2, right? So, therefore, first I calculate optimal strategies for player A. Optimal strategies, strategies for player A. Now, what is the formula of P1? A22 minus A21 divided by A11 plus A22 minus of A12 plus A21. So, which is equivalent to B? A22, 2, 2 minus A21, 6 divided by A11, A22, 1 plus 2 minus of A12, A21, 7 plus 6. Therefore, the value here, this is minus 4 divided by 3 minus 13, 10, minus 10. Minus 4 by minus 10, minus will get cancelled and 4 by 10, hit 2 by 5. So, therefore, you calculate P2, it is 1 minus P1, it is 1 minus 2 by 5, it is 3 by 5. So, therefore, you write down optimal strategies of player A, which are A1, A2, A3. Three strategies uh, originally in the problem and uh, uh, because of uh, P1, P2 are 2 by 5, 3 by 5. Now you check whether which particular strategies, A1, A2, it, it, it may, not, may not be for A1, A2. If, for example, A2, A3, then you have to write here. 
the probabilities for now a1 a2 therefore a1 probability p1 that is uh, 2 by 5 and a2 probability is p2 it is 3 by 5 and it is 0 the probability is 0 so this is the uh, optimal these are the optimal strategies for player a now optimal strategies for player b optimal strategies for player b what are the formula q1 q1 is equal to a22 minus a12 divided by a11 plus a22 minus of a12 plus a21 right this is the formula a22 2 minus a12 7 2 minus 7 divided by denominator same 1 plus 2 minus of 7 plus 6 it is nothing but it is minus 5 minus 10 so 1 by 2 therefore q2 is equal to 1 minus q1 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 is half 1 by 2 again so therefore optimal strategies for player b which is uh, which is nothing but uh, sb is equal to b1 b2 b3 what is the probability of b1 now you have to see again here b1 b2 uh, which are uh, left uh, for player b so therefore the strategies here that is probabilities are 1 by 2 1 by 2 for b3 0 so these are the optimal strategies for player a and player b now you have to calculate uh, uh, value of the game the third point value of the game for our particular for uh, the given game what is the value of the game you have to you have to use the formula mu is equal to a11 a22 minus a12 a21 divided by a11 plus a22 minus of a12 plus a21 right so this is equivalent to be we know a11 a22 values so 1 multiplied by 2 minus a12 a21 7 multiplied by 6 right divided by 1 plus 2 minus of 7 plus 6 so the value here 42 minus 2 40 40 by minus 10 minus 45 minus 10 so 4 so this is the value of the game 4 now you have to check whether it is uh, lies in between uh, uh, maximum and minimax values so here maximum value is 2 minimax value is uh, 6 so it is lies in between 2 and 6 4 4 lies in between 2 and 6 therefore our value of the game is right so this is the way to solve the problem in dominance dominance property or dominance principle in the dominance property for the given game where it is of m by n whichever the order then we have to reduce into the 2 by 2 rectangular game like this and then you have to solve by using this formula right I hope you understand this is what the solution of uh, by using dominance principle solution of game by using dominance principle thank you thank you so much